the Joe Rogan experience. That's the weird one, right? When you like watch a movie and you're like, oh, where the fuck did that guy go? Like, who's the guy from The Mummy? What the fuck's his name? Brendan Fraser. Yes, that guy. Fucking guy was huge. Oh, but Brendan Fraser crashed my Saturday Night Live closing. You know, at the end, they go, good night, everybody. This has been great. Thanks for watching. And everybody's there. He showed up and was screaming the name of his movie that was opening that weekend. (gasps) Bedazzled! No! Bedazzled! No. I was like, what the fuck? What's happening? Who are you? Why are you? Brendan Fraser? What are you doing here? Bedazzled! Whoa. Don't know. I, to this day, don't know what it was about. Maybe that's what sunk him. Bedazzled! Maybe that's what did it, it to could him. have been. That mentality. Like, that's not a healthy mindset. I think what happened, probably, is he they were going to work him into a sketch that got cut. Mm. To promote Bedazzled. Probably some studio shit. Mm. Some backroom, smoke-filled room shit. And then he was like, well, I'm going to go out there. And, and he's probably a little drunk. I'm going to yell Bedazzled anyway. Damn. Dazzled. But that guy was a giant movie star. He was huge. Massive. Huge. Ma- and The Mummy was massive. 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 I just watched it. <clears throat> I told you um, my, me and my family watched Tommy Boy. No. Yes, we did. We went on, uh, we were doing family movie night because of the quarantine. We watched like almost every night. We watched a new movie. I watched all the Adam Sandler movies. Watched a shitload of Eddie Murphy movies. We watched The Mummy. Watch a couple of the mummies, and we watched Tommy Boy. How did how did Tommy Boy st- stand Fucking up? Fucking holds up. Does it holds up? Funny movie, man. Funny movie. Oh, that's awesome. God damn, Chris Farley was good. Oh, bro, <sighs> he was and and a great actor. My my uh, among all my regrets about Chris's passing was where he would have gone as a as a as a as an actor because he was he, as Spade. Spade's the same. They're acting in that movie forget the funny which is great but like they're like legitimate acting moments in that movie yes and yeah. and i think that's why it it, it has the, the the staying power but chris was really going to develop into a into a real serious actor a good a good one i think he was such a fucking powerhouse when he would go ape shit <laughs> look at you guys look at those two idiots <laughs> Just to, I like what in the, the part of the movie where, where Spade looks at me and goes, hey, Lee Harvey, because I do. My hair does look like Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> he was awesome, man. That's the cow tipping scene, which um, I was uh, I pitched to the writers. They had never heard of it. And it made it into the movie. Who That's was a, your mom slash girlfriend again? Bo Derek. That's right. Well, that was a great thing because we we, um, you know, she's Bo Derek and her husband, John, famous John Derek was very protective of her and she hadn't worked in a long time. And um, he made her cut all her hair off the day before she showed up on the set of Tommy Boy. So what we, we thought we were getting Bo Derek from, from 10 with the hair and she showed up with hair that's basically my, my length now because John made her do it. Why did he make her do it? I, I mean, I, you can do the math. I think he was like, mm-hmm. I want to keep you up in San Inez riding horses with me. Ew. Don't need you to be a movie star again. Oh, but she wow. was so lovely. She's the best. She's a really smart, um, really smart, um, just great woman. And um, I mean, I got to kiss Bo Derek. I mean, what, you know, I know for people who don't know, like what she like was in ten. Day? Oh my god! With she was the original white girl with cornrows when it was she, okay. You couldn't get canceled for that back yeah, then. Yeah, she would have been that. Whole, she would have been canceled <laughs> in a heartbeat. She was the original. Um, Gigi Hadid. Mm. How about that as a reference? Is that, um, am I cool and young now? I'm, I missed it. I don't, I, I've heard that name before, but right, all I know is her dad got sued because he built a house that's too big. With no permits. Yeah. <laughs> you no, know, no. I know. No, absolutely no permits. It's way too big and the neighbors are worried it's going to fall on them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It looks like a UFO. It's still there. Oh, yeah, of course. Like they haven't even figured out what to do with it yet. No. no I think it's... there's lawsuits. Still... Yeah, oh, that's her. You look at Bo. Back in the day. Woo! How about the one on the left? Go to that one. Can't. Nips. Uh, Bam. Kapow, um, Google. Kapow. I'm going back. I'm going to go back and do a deeper dive on this. <sighs> she was hot as fuck. Perfect bone structure, right? Yeah, she was She was amazing. And Tommy, you know, the thing about Farley was um, he, uh, he and Spade used to fight over me like I was the girl. <laughs> Probably because, I, let's face it, I kind of look like a girl in certain lighting. Um, and uh, they'd be like, I heard you were in the jacuzzi with Rob last night. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't call me. Well, and they, they they would like fight. It was it was very funny and 
and sweet. One night I took uh, I took the gang out to Barbarian Steakhouse in Toronto. Great steak. I don't know if they're still there. Chris ordered two bone-in, two bone-in steak, uh, porterhouse steaks, ate both of them. But on top of each bite, he put a cube of butter. <laughs> and when I looked at him like, what the f- <laughs> fuck are you doing? He was like, <coughs> it needs a hat. <laughs> so if you want to put a hat on your steak. Some people just genuinely don't give a fuck. No fucks given. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, he's a wild man. I met him once on the set of uh, News Radio. He's partying with Andy Dick. Oh, he boy. showed up gray like wet cardboard. He looked gray, and I'm like, "Hey, man." He's like, "It hey, hey. was just he was gone." Oh, it was it was sad. It was weird. He had gray skin, and I remember thinking, "Jesus Christ, Chris Farley has gray skin. Like, what's going on?" Like he was sweaty and just just all fucked up. Yeah, he, he had major, major demons, uh, and a lot of us really worked, you know, we're, we're worked out for, you know, but, you know, it's, some people can't, they can't make that leap, man. They the thing about him, though, leap. is, the, fucking, I always wonder about guys like that that are so powerful. Like, is it the demons that made him so good? He was so good. So good. Well, he would go ape shit. I mean, he had the, the fucking horsepower he had. It was so stunning. Like yeah. when you have these scenes where he would just go fucking crazy, it was so fun. And I, you would wonder, like, what is is that same thing what makes him, I mean, because it was so real. Is that what made him just go crazy with coke and go crazy with everything well, else? I mean, I think, I think like normal people, like, I don't see a lot of normal people drawn. Well, why would any normal person want to be in entertainment? Right. Right. I mean, what? Why would they? Right. So I think just by default, damaged people or people with a more, more, more articulately, people with a hole to fill are drawn to entertainment to fill the hole. And, um, you know, and, and, some, and some of the people have, have other damage too, rage, anger, whatever it is. But without a question, the more normal someone is, I know, like, unfortunately, the less entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Do you ever find that though? Yes. Like you're out at you're you have, you're at dinner or whatever, and they're like, I'm this, and they're like really, really nice and really, really decent, and I go, I wish you were crazy and damaged like me, because then it, you'd be really. <laughs> <laughs> then we could have a fun conversation. Really funny, yeah. Well, that's absolutely the case with comedians. Like my my favorite people are all completely fucked up. Have you ever met? Can you think of a normal, decent, well rounded, unfucked up person who's hilarious? No. I'll tell you real quick. Eh. Right? <laughs> no. 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 The humor is a big part of humor is saying things that are radically inappropriate. 